first thing to remember is that learner drivers don't have many crashes, mainly because they have an older adult supervising them. Learners' crash rates are much lower than P-plate drivers and even lower than some experienced drivers. You're unlikely to be involved in a serious crash with a learner. I was very proud. First time I saw those L-plates on the car. That first ride, I was a bit jumpy. Then I realised you're actually pretty safe because you've got two sets of eyes on the road. Once learners get their probationary licence and become solo drivers, that's where they hit trouble. This graph shows the crash profile of new solo drivers. P-plate drivers start out at the top with a much higher risk of crashing, but they learn quickly. After 12 months on the road, the crash rate is lowered by almost half. P-plate drivers are more likely to be involved in rear-end crashes, crashes while turning right at intersections, crashes where the other driver is turning right, and single vehicle crashes. These crashes are associated with driving too fast or too close, misjudging gaps in traffic, and failing to spot hazards on or near the road. Inexperience is the main reason. New drivers haven't had time to develop the mental abilities they need for safe driving. Well, I reckon immaturity has a lot to do with it. I mean, these p platers they're still kids, and when you're young, you take risks. You think you're invincible until something happens. Finally, there are issues that affect all drivers. Speeding, fatigue, distraction, not wearing seatbelts, and alcohol and drugs. They're potential killers for everyone. But young drivers are especially at risk. Victoria has a long learner period, at least two years if the learner gets their permit at 16. This helps reduce the risk. The minimum 120 hour requirement also helps learners to gain experience in a variety of conditions, including at night. This also helps reduce the risk. I work long hours and my wife doesn't drive, so it can be very hard to find the time. It'd be very easy to say, not today, I'm busy. But you have to be disciplined to find the time to clock up the practice hours. We've decided not to take the test until she's absolutely 100% ready, because we want her to be safe. A long learner period is an effective way to reduce crash risk. Research shows learners with about 120 hours of driving experience have a crash rate 30% lower than those with about 50 hours of driving experience. That's the reason we keep stressing the importance of getting at least 120 hours. Well, you've got to give them all the experience you can. Once they're on their P's, they're on their own. Well, we took Tim out in all the conditions we could when he was ready. Wet, dry, daytime, nighttime, country roads, highways, the lot. He even made a couple of special trips to the city. Every bit counts. Research shows that when parents are involved in helping their learner get lots of practice, compared to those who only get lessons, then that's what makes a big difference to their safety. So parents have a key role to play in reducing crash risk. When I was learning, I practiced in lots of different places. I made a few little mistakes, but, you know, it was okay because there was someone else in the car. I guess it's like your mum and dad are a safety net, if that makes sense. Remember these key points. Learner drivers have very few crashes. P-plate drivers have higher crash rates, especially during their first year. But parents can help reduce the risk by extending the learner period. Research shows at least 120 hours of experience as a learner makes for a much safer driver.